Hey, PMI team, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Michael D. Lemire. The D stands for David, if you all want to know. I know some of the women want to know that, Mike. Oh, geez. <laughs> no hey. more personal information on this video. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to, you know, get with Mike here and share with everybody here on, with our team from uh, Fitline and Beautyline. Uh, I wanted to kind of give them some specifics because, Mike, you've been in the trenches for 20 years. This has been a family business, the direct sales industry yep. for you and your family. And you've been in infancy stages with companies such as PM International is coming into the United States, even yeah. though they're a 22-year-old company. But you've been at the ground floor for a couple different companies and have grown them. Can you kind of touch on a few key points yeah, of what it took from that infancy stage to really see that long-term residual that you and your family still get to enjoy right now today after a 12-year hiatus from working that particular business? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you that one of the first things I remember is that when we started in that particular venture, it was back in the early 90s, you know, we didn't have internet, we didn't have, I don't think we had cell phones, to be honest. There was no cell, you had the you know, big we, ones. We didn't have all these amazing tools that we have today, So, I, but what I remember the most was the fact that we had excitement. Right. And when people are around excitable people, they tend to get excited. So that we had that going for us because we knew that, that this company we were involved in way back when was gonna be big. We just didn't know how long it was going to take. So I would have to tell you that the biggest tool that we used, and I tell people, is we used our mouth. I mean, we really just talked to a lot of people. We got excited. And people were responding. The one thing I learned, Johnny, is that it, you know, it's, it's an acronym, T-T-L-O-P. Talk to lots of people every day. T-T-L-O-P. Yeah, you just you talk to lots of people. I mean, that's, that's what we do. It does, and today it's great because we do have the ability to do text. We have Facebook. We have... I mean, we can like we can launch spider webs around the world today, and I think that's awesome. Some people rely on that a little bit too much because if I go back in time and I look at that entire history of our family, and I look at when I first joined, right? I mean, first of all, most people, and if you don't know, I barely graduated high school. If it wasn't for peripheral vision. I usually tell people and that's a true <laughs> story. I went to college for a week and dropped out. Mom and dad were so thrilled. I joined the Marine Corps, which is probably one of the best things I did because that kind of set me straight a little bit. And then when I first started my business, I had no idea what I was doing. Right. But what I had was excitement. I had times where I didn't know what to do, so I went knocking on doors. And I'm not saying to go knock on doors in your neighborhood, but I did. Yeah. And did it work? Absolutely, because I, I learned that the law of averages always make up in your favor. And, and, and if you don't feel that at the beginning, you don't even realize it. You know, it's like Jim Rohn says, you know, what you lack in skill, you make up for in numbers. And I learned that kind of in a street smart way. So that excitement, becomes contagious and people latch on to you and your yeah. story. No, they that's, definitely do. That's one thing I tell people all the time is they will they will latch on to the excitement and they'll listen to your story. Doesn't mean they're gonna buy, doesn't mean they're gonna join, but if you just remember that and you do that every single day, things that's are gonna key. work out. You know, and, and to kind of play off of that, you know, you've once told me, because I've asked you a few different questions, you know, hey, what's made you and your family so successful? And you, you just touched on that. But more so than that, you know, Mike, really kind of laid it out one particular day, you know, and got really specific with me, which I really liked and it resonated with me. But you went back to the basics and you said, it's all about the relationship building, you know? Yeah. And can you kind of touch on in those early days <laughs> that you still have those relationships to this day? Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Just talked to one today, I told you. Yeah. With our family business, we are partners for 23 years, a good friend of mine making $700,000 a year, he's 43 years old, and he's an awesome guy. Um, you know, what I did learn early on is that when you, when you get to know people and you truly have a vested interest in them as people, they start to attach to you, and that's where the loyalty comes in. Right. Because no, no one wants to get sold, no one wants to be just, oh, I'm just a number. But when you, if you have an interest in people and you truly want to help them, naturally you build a relationship, as we all have in certain business ventures, and I'll tell you, that loyalty is the strongest loyalty you can ever get. Yeah, and I, th I think you stick with you yeah. when, you know, when, when you're in a timing situation. I just want to make something clear. You know, PM is an amazing company. We know the stats, and we know they're going to blow up here with or without us, which gets me excited. But they're also going to go through some ups and downs, opening the largest, most incredible economy in the world. And you have to have those relationships to get through those little ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Thank God we're not a startup. We don't have to worry about running out of money. But you know, we're not right now having the perfect websites and we don't have the perfect tool set. But again, it goes back to what we said earlier, yeah. excitement, 
being contagious, talking to a lot of people, and, and having a vested interest. I mean, I love nothing more than to help someone from scratch build up whether they want 500 bucks a month residual income or 2,000 or 10,000, which we have people doing that already. Yeah. That to me is the most, I would say, for Rewarding. me it's like an addiction. Yeah, I, lo I love it. Yep, and I, and I think that's what I really resonated to and grabbed was the fact that to really be successful, you have to take a vested interest in seeing that other person, your friend, your family member, whoever it is, become successful. That right there is the key. That's that's what I took away from that those particular stories that you shared with me about helping people along the way. Because people are going to trip up, they're going to stumble, they're going to fail, but it's a matter of getting back up that extra time and having that handout to pull them up and help them along the way. And that's where the loyalty comes in, but that's where the true power of this company and this industry comes. So, thanks Mike, appreciate Absolutely. the uh, the information, as I've heard it before, and everybody else. Your show, Johnny. Yeah, no, I got a show now. <laughs> PMI. Thanks.